Did you know that if you could travel at the speed of light, you could circle the Earth's equator about 7.5 times in just one second? That's how fast light travels, and it's thanks to light that we can observe some of the most distant and mysterious objects in the universe, like galaxies. Speaking of galaxies, scientists have just made an incredible discovery that's captured the attention of space enthusiasts all over the world. For several years, the farthest galaxy ever observed was GNZ11, an ancient galaxy located over 13 billion light years away from us. But recently, researchers using the world's most powerful telescopes have discovered a galaxy that's even farther away, Jade's GSZ-130. This galaxy is so far away that it actually existed just 250 million years after the Big Bang, which is an incredible feat of observation and science. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at these incredible discoveries and what they tell us about the universe we live in. In 2015, astronomers made an incredible discovery that pushed the limits of our understanding of the universe. They found a galaxy so far away from us that it existed 13.4 billion years ago, just 400 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy, known as GNZ11, is located in the constellation Ursa Major, and it's truly a sight to behold. The discovery of GNZ11 was made by a team using data from two powerful telescopes, the Hubble Space Telescope's Cosmic Assembly Near Infrared Deep Extragalactic Legacy Survey, CANDLES, and the Spitzer Space Telescope's Great Observatory's Origins Deep Survey North, Goods North. By analyzing the data and using Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3, the team was able to measure the distance to GNZ11 spectroscopically, which gave them a red shift caused by the expansion of the universe. What they found was astonishing. GNZ11 was not only among the farthest known galaxies from Earth ever discovered, but up until the discovery of Jade's GSZ-130 in 2022 by the James Webb Space Telescope, it was the oldest and most distant known galaxy yet identified in the observable universe with a spectroscopic redshift that has a proper distance of approximately 32 billion light years. GNZ11 is a minuscule galaxy compared to our Milky Way, weighing merely 1% of its mass. Yet, against all odds, it defies its size by igniting new stars at a breathtaking rate, a staggering 20 times faster. At the time of its revelation, GNZ11 stood among the farthest celestial bodies ever observed from Earth. Brace yourselves, for there is a new champion on the horizon. Jade's GSZ-130 emerges with an even higher redshift, etching its name as the most distant galaxy ever identified, pushing the boundaries of our cosmic exploration to unprecedented heights. Imagine traveling back in time when the universe was just a baby, a mere 320 million years old. The universe was in its infancy, and the first stars were just beginning to form. It was a time of great change and growth and a time that astronomers have been eager to explore. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we now have the ability to peer further back in time than ever before, and the latest discovery is truly remarkable. But how did astronomers even detect this distant and ancient galaxy? The answer lies in the redshift scale. As light travels through space, it is stretched out by the expanding universe, making it appear redder. This is known as redshift, and it is a key indicator of the distance and age of objects in space. The Lyman Brake technique was used to find high redshift galaxies, which is a sharp jump in the spectrum of a galaxy caused by hydrogen in the intergalactic medium absorbing light with wavelengths shorter than 912 angstroms, which is equal to 100 millionth of a centimeter, or 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. This imprint on the spectrum is redshifted as it travels towards us, making it visible in the infrared range of the spectrum. The Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey Team, also known as JADE's team, used NIRCAM, short for Near Infrared Camera, which is one of the main scientific instruments on the JWST, capable of detecting light in the near infrared range with high sensitivity and resolution to make this discovery. The JADES team spent an incredible 10 days taking images with different filters using NIRCAM. 
By measuring the brightness of galaxies in each filter, they were able to identify objects like Jade's GSZ-130 in filters above F200W, indicating their high redshift. This astonishing discovery has pushed the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. Jade's GSZ-130, the most distant galaxy ever seen by astronomers, was formed a mere 320 million years after the Big Bang when the universe was in its infancy. Located in the epoch of reionization, this galaxy emerged from the cosmic dark ages that followed the Big Bang, giving birth to the first stars in the universe. At a distance of over 13 billion light years from Earth, Jade's GSZ-130 existed just 2% of the universe's current age. But that's not all that makes this galaxy so remarkable. Jade's GSZ-130 is very low in mass, weighing only about 100 million solar masses. Yet, this tiny galaxy is extremely active in star formation, producing stars at a rate similar to that of the Milky Way. It's hard to believe that such a feat was possible so early in the universe's history. The galaxy is also very poor in metals. In keeping with the standard model of cosmology, which states that the closer to the Big Bang, the less time there is for metals to form. The confirmation of Jade's GSZ-130's existence is a technical tour de force, according to Peter Van Dockham, an astronomer at Yale University. This discovery is a significant milestone that will help astronomers better understand the early universe's structure and evolution. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope's ability to detect infrared light, we can see deeper into the universe than ever before, opening up new avenues of discovery for astronomers. The discovery of Jade's GSZ-130 is an exciting milestone in astronomy and cosmology. It offers a glimpse into the early universe, shedding light on how galaxies formed and evolved over time. This groundbreaking discovery also highlights the incredible capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope and its advanced instruments, such as the NIRCAM, which allowed scientists to observe Jade's GSZ-130 in unprecedented detail. Let's compare and contrast Jade's GSZ-130 and its predecessor, GNZ-11, to better understand their significance in our understanding of the universe. Jade's GSZ-130 and GNZ-11 are two of the most distant galaxies ever observed by astronomers, both discovered using the powerful James Webb Space Telescope. They share some similarities, but also have some key differences. Both Jade's GSZ-130 and GNZ-11 share a fascinating similarity. They emerged at the dawn of the universe. Jade's GSZ-130 took shape a mere 320 million years after the explosive Big Bang, while GNZ-11 followed suit approximately 400 million years later. This remarkable alignment allows us to peer through an extraordinary window into the very origins and evolution of our universe. Prepare to be captivated by these cosmic time capsules. Another similarity is that both galaxies are low in mass, with Jade's GSZ-130 weighing roughly 100 million solar masses and GNZ-11 weighing about 1 billion solar masses. Despite their low masses, both galaxies are very active in star formation, with Jade's GSZ-130 forming stars at a rate comparable to the Milky Way and GNZ-11 forming stars at a rate 20 times faster than the Milky Way. However, there are also some differences between the two galaxies. For example, GNZ-11 is slightly more distant than Jade's GSZ-130, located about 13.4 billion years away from Earth, compared to Jade's GSZ-130's distance over 13 billion light years. This makes GNZ-11 the most distant galaxy ever observed at the time of its discovery before being surpassed by Jade's GSZ-130. GNZ-11 and Jade's GSZ-130, the two distant galaxies we've been discussing, also showcase intriguing differences in mass and chemical composition. GNZ-11, with a staggering mass of approximately 1 billion solar masses, is about 10 times more massive than Jade's GSZ-130. Moreover, GNZ-11 is notably more enriched in heavy elements or metals compared to Jade's GSZ-130.